Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Avorian with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to my lovely little squad mates currently doing their mining duties. In today's episode, we have two very simple goals, which I will not stop until we have accomplished. The first goal is to go out and get ourselves some Neonite so that we can make shields. The second is to use that material in order to start building our new fighters. The fighters will will be the main combat unit of our little squadron, soon becoming our little fleet. They will be cheap and yet hopefully somewhat effective, with a minimum shield strength of perhaps 5,000. I think that's a somewhat decent goal to begin with, but we will see just how hard that is actually to get once we have some Neonite at our disposal. So, I'll be right back once we've strip mined all of the titanium from this area, and then we are going a little bit closer to the galactic core. I really, really need that Neonite. We have all of the titanium we need. We just need the rest. Also, I should mention, a lot of people were yelling at me about this, and to my credit, it simply was a glitch in the stats over here that I ended up completely missing it, but the gyro arrays do affect your, your, your left and right turning. However, what you need to do is this. There we go. You need to rotate them, but when I tested that out the first time, the stats didn't change, and so I assumed, well, clearly that isn't the case. But no, doing that, now I can turn left and right a lot faster. Nice and simple. Pirates are now attacking the sector, so I think it's a good time to leave. Okay, everyone, please escort me, and let's go over to here. Now, sadly, there is no hidden mass sectors nearby, but the more we look, the more we will find. Also, I have just purchased the captain, amazingly not from the shipyard, but instead from the sheep ranch. So, we have a very special captain who will be leading this ship once I go over to the fighter. And let's get going as soon as possible. Okay, good, you're all still following me, everything is fantastic. Any hidden mass sectors this time? Yes, there is. Okay, let's jump there to see if we're already in Neonite territory. If not, we'll just keep on going further and further. No Neonite just yet, but a lot of titanium, and I think we've just found ourselves a beacon. Oh... Well, that's a rather sad one. Mayday, mayday, we are ambushed, and our hyperdrive is no longer... And they are dead. I wonder if there's any large asteroids here that we can sell. Uh, that one over there might be one. I think... Oh, yeah, that one there is definitely one. Okay, then there's a huge amount of titanium. Okay, a fairly safe place with just lots of titanium and also a bit of salvage. Let's just go and sell that lovely, lovely asteroid first. There is actually a faction nearby here, so I may claim it and then come back later to sell it for a bit of resource. And by resource, of course, I mean reputation. Reputation is a resource in these places. Yoink. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. Either a load of rep with this faction but almost no credits, versus loads of credits but only a little bit of rep. Okay, I think I, I will just sell it straight away then, because I need those credits. So thank you very, very much for that. Was that the only beacon here? Let's have a quick look-see. I also need to start doing this as well, giving orders all at once like that. I do know about these things, it's just I, I have so little experience with a fleet, it's not my instinct to do them, so it's a, a bit of a learning process. I'll come back later and check if there's any more asteroids here we can claim, but for now... I just want to see what this faction is, and then we will, and then we shall continue towards the center of the galaxy. Why did the gamma randomly reset when I started recording today? There we go, all nice and dark and dreary again with all of the light effects actually looking like light effects, rather than just being kind of washed out. Definitely can't see as well, but boy does it look gloomy and boy does it look pretty. Well, 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 we have found our first smuggler's hideout. Of course, we wouldn't be planning on perhaps becoming pirates and stealing stuff from the more wealthy, no. But it is nice to know where this is. Come on, lads, to the next sector. Ooh, is this... 
a... No, it's not. I was going to say, is it one of the scrap heaps, one of the areas we can harvest? Apparently it's just lots and lots of wreckages. Definitely need to come back here. And make a note of it. Oh, hello, Beacon. This message is for all participants of Operation Exodus. Oh, we found Operation Exodus already. Okay, then. The pros of randomly, aimlessly jumping, I suppose. Let's just make a little mark here, though, so we, so we can come back later. Stuff! I will totally remember what I mean by that. Anyway, let's carry on. Well, this is going to be a problem. We have a hyperspace blocker currently attacking us, which means we literally can't run away. Oh no, don't kill my minions, that's all I ask. Just go straight for the hyperspace blocker and try to destroy it as soon as possible. Ignore all the others, even if I'm getting under attack by them. Crud, 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 crud. They are way stronger than I thought. Well, welcome to insane difficulty, everyone. Well. All of the ships are destroyed. I was hoping perhaps we could just wait for the Zotan to spawn in, then perhaps help with that. Did any of them even have insurance? No, that's why I got 820 each. Oh yeah, they did have insurance upon being created. I mean, I do have all the resources to instantly make all four of these again. It's more of an annoying thing that I'm losing my turrets and I'm going to have to go all the way back to the starting location. I need to grab those turrets back. If I can grab the turrets, I'm not even going to lose that much time. I can't turn! Turn! Wait, like, can I repair yet? I should be able to, right? Worth it! Excuse me, guys, I'm just gonna grab all the stuff you just destroyed. That'll be great. Thank you. Yep, there they are. There's the, the first two turrets. Here's the rest. Ah, I so miss the old control scheme. The arcade turning. So helpful. Thank you. Come on, give me it. I'm guessing it only just dropped. Thank you. We are definitely faster than the enemy, at least. Oh, but they're longer range than us. We don't have anything that long range. I was about to say, perhaps if we can keep them at bay and just slowly remove health, since, of course, they don't have shields, we could win this, actually. What, what weapons do we have? Do, do we have any cannons? The longest range stuff we have are bolters. At five-ish. No, actually, the chain gun turret works as well. Okay, then. Put that on the top, so changing its regular positioning, thank you, so we can shoot backwards. Put that as two. Remove one. Ah, what we need to do is put on camera control, sorry, keyboard controls, so that I can turn and fire at the same time. Where are they? There they are. I need to do that, that's going to take a second to do, I don't really have enough time to just be sitting here doing nothing. I am going to kill these things! Um, I have no idea how to- there it is! Keyboard steering, thank you! Something I have almost no experience with. Uh, how do I go forward and backwards with this again? Hello? Okay. And how do I fire my guns? I have no control over my gun! I don't understand how I meant to use my gun! when in this mode. I don't have time to learn this. I do not have time to learn this. Screw this. Back to mouse. Thank you. I'll learn it later. I'm sure it's something very obvious, but it wasn't obvious at the moment. Oh, why was they be so long range and have so much firepower? And naturally they, they knock off my gun again. Where's the wreckages again? At least we can now go and salvage those. 
A group of alien ships have arrived. If we don't fire, they will not be hostile to us. What strength are they, though? Because the headhunters are very powerful. I doubt we're going to be able to fight them using the Zotan as a shield. You guys are definitely weaker than the headhunters. Oh, you're not. But the other... Okay, so it's three versus three with two which are significantly weaker. I'll just be over here if you need me. Apparently the Zotan are going to come back very soon. I just want to win this. It's... We could just die. It really wouldn't set us back too much. But I just want to win this. Nope. 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 Yeah, take those three damages. Just focus on the hyperspace blocker. Any damage before the Zotan get here is good. Increasing the chance of the hyperspace blocker dying, that's all they want. Oh. Did I stop in time? I think I did. No, I didn't. Darn it. Okay, now the Zotan are hostile to us, so what we need to do is make sure we are way behind the headhunters before the Zotan get to us. So, like, maybe here. Oh, they're so far away. Okay. Leading the enemy towards the Zotan, then, to save time. Well, poop. Two versus one here against the Zotan. Come on, just hit the gosh darn hyperspace blocker. Kill it. Blood for the blood god and all that. Okay, it's doing some damage to the hyper... Actually, quite a lot of damage, but the ship is so close to being dead. Darn it. No, Zotan, don't go for the headhunter. Go for the hyperspace blocker. Actually, why am I not helping at this stage? They're not hostile. To well, they are hostile, but they're not focusing on me. Even little threes here and there, just every last little bit of damage I can possibly do here is good. Never know, might break one of their guns or something. Very damaged headhunter. Okay, that's good to see. Was that the hyperspace blocker? No, it won the fight. Nope, 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 nope. You know what? Can we take a couple of pot shots on the way past? Oh, it's so difficult to aim when you're moving this fast. Oh, uh, ooh, that headhunter's got a lot of damage heading towards it. The range of my gun, I believe, is like late sixes, like 6.7 or something. Once again, just focus down the hyperspace blocker as much as possible while they're distracted. Darn it, why don't you get distracted? I am a coward, let me live. <laughs> let the coward live. Oh, I think one of my generators got broke. Right in the generator. The space equivalent of being kicked in the ears. Can't boost. Power level too low. Can't repair right now because too recently damaged. Can't even dodge right now because my turning has been impeded. I will win this. I don't care how annoying this is. I will sodding win this. Through endurance and cowardice, your firepower will be overwhelmed. Also, whoop, now I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, that's a little bit too far, it's actually blurred even more. But you get the idea. Even though that was the standard, it was very hard to see what was going on. That's better. 
No, 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 repair now. Repair before being shot. Repair now, please. Yes, turn, run, flee. Scheme. 10,000 credits. That cost me 10,000 credits. Oh, this is not worth it anymore. I didn't realize how expensive the repairs were. But it's a moral victory, darn it. I want the things to be dead. Blood for the blood god. Ah! Take that. <laughs> that was way less explosive than I was expecting. Oh, who cares? I die now. I get it. I give up. The blood god cares not from where the blood flows. Only that it does. Yes! <laughs> I killed you two! I suddenly killed you, you horrible little bugger. <laughs> oh, that was glorious. Give me my sodding insurance money, thank you. <laughs> well. Well. Well, <laughs> oh, that was glorious. Let's rebuild our ship, shall we? Welcome all new crew members to the redemption. I may have had to Google it to make sure I was actually saying that correctly. You know what? Rather than simply rebuilding our mining craft, let's build a new one instead. Because why on earth not? That is my generator core. This is my integrity field generator, which is going to be really oversized for now, but hopefully will cover everything. And then let's get building everything we can. So gyros, I would like these two, but except for I would like them turned. There we are. Lovely. Lovely. Our turning will be incredibly quick. Right now, though, the stats won't represent what we're actually doing because we have no crew members, so everything's on kind of a minimum basis. Now, I'm building this in a very specific way, and there is a reasoning behind the madness. Since, we, since we've called it Redemption, I believe it should be the redemption of two different ships. Not only the regular ship, but also the sunfish. So we're going to make it very thin, very tall, and very deep. Inertial dampeners, generators, gyro arrays, we have pretty much everything, and now we need to add some regular armor blocks so it can actually survive a few hits. There we go. We can do more on the side as well, but this is just the basic shape for now. Oh, I do love having the generator stick out the front like that, but that's just going to cause problems. Actually, no, that's the Integrity Field Generator to make it even worse. Well, goodbye Integrity Field Generator, say hello to your glorious new block of armor. There we are. We'll add the Field Generator again in just a second. So... Not the best looking ship in the world, but it's certainly going to get the job done for now, and there is a lot more we still need to add. Directional thrusters now being added, because why not? There we are. And then more titanium edges. That actually looks like a sunfish this time. My god. <laughs> it actually looks like one. <laughs> I didn't realize it would look quite a sunfish like. Oh, it's such a simple looking design. Okay, remove those. Let's back this up a bit. So, no longer matching instead. So. Oh, I do want. Okay. Remove that. This is, the, this is the easiest way to do this. Remove that. Once again, directional thrusters, so we can just keep on going with the match. Uh, wrong direction there, buddy. Thank you. Like this. Then we add the edge. Like this. And let's, let's do it a little bit smoother. I do kind of like the idea of just doing it like this and being silly, but let's make it a little bit smoother, shall we? Still want it to be incredibly tall, mind you, just not quite as insane as that one. 
Then that can go to there. Titanium Edge again. Like so. And then we simply go backwards, and then we can have the little dorsal fin. Is it the dorsal fin at the top? I believe it is, though I could be perfectly incorrect there. We have a lot of crew space, that's good, though I still think we could do some more, but that's fine. More directional thrusters would be awesome as well, once again increasing our roll in this case. And increasing our turning, I think. Will this, no, will that increase your, no, that'll be pitch and roll, won't it? Nothing else. Oh yeah, I could have looked on the side, yeah, that is how that's going to work. Uh, could add a regular thruster there to upgrade everything. Or we could even add some more gyros. Hmm, questions and thoughts. Or we could add some more inertial dampeners, but they're incredibly expensive. It would be nice to stop faster than the previous versions. We are so making a fish. A glorious revenge fish! I've been looking up some images of the sunfish, and honestly, we are definitely doing it justice. However, I do need some more credits right now, so I'm going to go off, get some credits by selling some stuff, and then I will continue to build our craft. Having a maximum speed of around about 200 took a very long time to get here, but here we are, so let's sell some stuff. The main thing we need to sell is our legendary item, the really, really cool one, which, honestly, we don't really care about. Goodbye. Thank you for the money. Glorious as it is. So, do you have a power upgrade, which I really should have took off before, before I ended up killing my other ship, I completely forgot about it, so I did lose the energy upgrade, which is something I do need desperately. I mean... That's an absolutely amazing thing, but I don't have two million. So, nothing really worthwhile there. What I will do is do the whole log off, log on thing until we find something useful there. Uh, well, I might do. Let's see. That's a really nice turret. Again, things we can look into in the not so distant future. Let's get back to building. We really do look like a sunfish. Go and Google it, people. The sunfish or the moonfish. Either way, this. Okay, the Integrity Field Generator is working perfectly, so just need to armor up the rest, and then let's get ourselves some crew. It actually isn't looking too bad right now, it's very basic looking, but hey, it works. With one weak spot there, which I'm going to alter in a second, I'm actually pretty happy with how it has turned out. It looks like a sunfish, and that's hilarious. We are actually losing health though right now, so let's go and find some crew first, then we'll finish this thing off. That's so weird. And this is how the sunfish looks if it's flipped. It's a pancake. Really? I still don't have enough mechanics or engineers. Why does this thing require so many of both? Let's just slowly slide out, there we go, nice and gentle. No jokes being made there in the comments, please. <laughs> oh, I'm in a very weird mood now, as you can probably tell. Okay, let's dock. Let's dock here, what do you have? Maybe I should have checked first. Okay, you actually have exactly what I want, so it was perfectly timed. Yoink and yoink. Really? More sergeants? Okay, just give me some normal people and I'll turn those into sergeants. Well done, you win! Ahem. <clears throat> Wait, more, more lieutenants? Okay, that's fine. Getting specialist lieutenants and sergeants is actually surprisingly difficult. I have some at least. I have three... Sorry, two of the professional sergeants, so they will level up over time, but even so... I really need to press don't show again when that pops up next time. There we are! My pitch rotation is bad. Eh, it's not too bad. Regular speed now? Oh, thank God, regular speed. Yes! Whoa, we're actually very quick. 3,000 meters, almost 4,000 meters per second. We don't have much energy capacity, but we're good at burst speed. And our braking speed is excellent. Okay, so overall, it's a somewhat agile ship. So next then, what do we need to add? What do we need more of? Well... We do need to get ourselves some new, sim some new systems, because right now we have basically none. 
And none of these are things I really want all that much. I mean, well, I do want that, I do want that, but for now, we want to keep the energy. So what I need, then, is some energy containers. Mirroring the correct way, excellent. Don't match. Actually, you can match, but match the bottom section, not the top. I said the bottom section. Yeah, basically that one. So what we could do... Hmm, maybe no matching at all. What we could do, we start building up the centre and armouring that up so the centre is a bit thicker, so it gives the ship a bit more... A bit more shape to it. Obviously, we're going for quite a silly theme. We're trying to look like a sunfish, one of the most bland looking in terms of shape fishes in the world. But, I would like a bit more shape in the centre. And this would give us loads of storable energy. Probably enough forever, so let's actually shrink that. Put that there. Okay. Good. Now we can store way more, like several times more. Then, I would actually like some more inertial dampeners, because they're amazing. Sadly, we can only make them out of iron. Let's see how much iron we have left. That's fine. That will add a lot of breaking for us. Wonderful. Then, finally, let's add some stuff for rotation, so that stops yelling at us, shall we? So, we want it to be... Yeah. Uh, by rotation, does it mean roll? I can only assume, I can only assume it means roll. No, you don't. What do you mean by pitch rotation? Oh, as in actual pitching up and down, derp to herp. Gee, I wonder what pitch means. Could it possibly mean... Pitch? It's not, though. Look, it's a really good stat. We're very good at looking up and down. What are you talking about, you bizarre thing? Well, either way, we can add the armor now to this. So it becomes part of the overall collective. And then we can armor up that again in a second, then we have the same over here. So let's do... Not match. Actually no, we could match that. Couldn't... No, we couldn't. No, we couldn't. So what we want then is... That, essentially. A little bit thinner though. Good enough massively widened out, and we'll put that in there. So straight away, we do actually need some more power, and I don't really want to go down the route of solar panels, because I just don't like the look of them, honestly. So, how are we going to do this? We could put them up here like this, and then finish off this section for good. Then later on, do stuff down there. I think that would be the best idea. So like that, then we add the armor again, in the same vein as before just a bit more stubbly, like so, and then we could actually perhaps add the armor here as well, so let's just flip that around, wrong way, dum-dum, there we go, like that. Oh yeah, what are we doing in the back here? Um, more engines of course, <laughs> why not? Why not? I like having lots of engines, it just, I don't know, it looks alive to me having all that, and that actually fits really well. Then we can armor up this when we decide the final version of it. That looks fine to me. Although we do need to add a corner piece there, so let's do that now before I forget. Armored corner section, thank you. Um, how about you go the right way straight away? That would be amazing if you did that, buddy. Ta-da! There we go. I actually really like how this has turned out. And now it's even going to have eyes. There we are. They're even in the correct place. So now we need some miners as well, and then we can go out. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is next episode, get ourselves the Naonite and then make the fighter, so we have just two ships, then go back and respawn and recreate the little baby ships we had before with new names, possibly from different pets. Or I could do the same ones, and just call them all, like, Mark II, the Lipton, Mark II, and so on and so forth. Surely the Resource Depot has miners. Really? You don't? Because that's just silly. Uh, where else is there here? Uh, what's the closest area? There we are. 
There's that over there, which is the crystal... Whoa, it's almost destroyed. And you don't have what I'm after anyway. But you do have professional commanders. I do need that soon. Equipment dock. Do you sell... Why is there no professional miners here? Repair dock? Really? No one has miners here. Well, either way, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. I do apologise how weird this episode went, but hopefully it was enjoyable nonetheless. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Avorian is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Next time, I'm not even going to guess anymore. We'll be doing something, possibly making a fighter.